So this is a bit unusual. Today's video is gonna be about Rail Top, everybody. I personally don't play it, but the circumstances pretty much made me do this video. And if you're hoping to see like some educational pro gameplay, then I have to disappoint you. That's not the cause of this video. This video is uh, pretty much only made because of personal reasons, to prove a point. <laughs> and I thought it would be entertaining to make a video out of it. So, yeah. Let, let me explain uh, what's going on right here. So, this player right here um, is a fellow member of the Rail community. He is going around on the Rail Mains Discord and he's like the poster child of Rail Top on there, I feel like. So... He um, makes a lot of statements about Rail Top and he thinks Rail Top is really strong. And for the most part, I don't have any problems with that. But two days ago, I think, three days, two days or three days ago, um, I just happened to randomly look at the uh, look at the chat of uh, the Rail Top Mid Jungle section, and I just randomly happened to stumble about the statement of this guy. Let's pause this for now. Where he literally said that Rel counters Eloi. And I know about you guys, but I personally would say that Eloi is probably the best champion against Rel in the entire game. At least when we look at those who can't cancel Crashdown consistently. Like, okay, let's say there's probably Jenna and there's Poppy who can make Rel's life completely miserable, but we're talking about Rel top anyways right here, so this is probably not gonna uh, be the case in top lane that you play against Jenna at least, and Poppy maybe, but Poppy's not that popular in top lane right now, so that probably doesn't happen as well. But after these two, when I go down the list about, like, matchups on, on, on top lane for Rel, Ilaoi has to be one of the worst ones. And right here, we, I'm gonna go over two games where he played against Eloy Toplin. And keep in mind, he told me to watch these games. He wanted me to watch these, so he can prove his point. That Rel counters Ilawi. Before we get started as well, this game is in gold. <laughs> so people are gonna make mistakes. Let's check this out real quick. Uh, let's press the items as well. So, there are definitely some plays Ilawi does that are questionable and there are plays that Rel does that are also questionable. Less with the Rel side because um, she actually plays it as good as possible but it's Ilawi so <laughs> there's not much to do. And also this is of course a whole game and I'm kind of looking at the matchup in a vacuum and it would just be a bare 1v1 then Ilawi might probably just take Grasp uh, and the trades would go even more better in her favor. But since this is an entire game, of course, it's uh, gonna be a Conqueror Lowey. But anyways, we're gonna look at the laning phase right here. Uh, because it's only about the matchup. I'm, I'm not saying Rel is always less useful than Ilawi, And I'm also not saying that Rel can't win against Ilawi. I'm just saying that in a vacuum, Ilawi is gonna completely shit on Rel. She's gonna destroy Rel easily and these games even prove it even though he says I should watch them to prove his point these games literally prove it and there are gonna be a lot of instances where the Ilawi actually misplays and still comes out ahead in in the trades so we're gonna have a look at that and yeah this video is <laughs> maybe a bit of, out of spite but I'm, I'm arguing with this guy for three days now and I'm gonna make this video and I'm gonna send it to him and then maybe he will understand. Maybe he will understand. He actually gave me permission to make this video, so he seems like, actually, right, personally, he seems like a cool guy, but... Yeah, anyways. Let's start watching. So one point um, I agreed with him over the whole discussion we had is that level 1 Rel can win. And... That's just, I think, you can see it right here. Her traits are pretty good. Rel just goes for the grasp traits, and then he kites out. It's pretty, pretty good level one traits. Not much Eloi can do there, especially if she has Conqueror and starts with uh, Q. 
And right here, we have a little bit of an extended trade, and we can see that Rel pretty much lost double the HP of Ilaoi. And right here, we got a gank. I think, she, uh, I, I, of course, I already kind of glanced over these games, and I think right here, he actually almost kills both of them, which is, which is impressive. So the early levels are pretty good for Rel. But of course, the matchup doesn't only include level 1. I wasn't gonna skip ahead sometimes if nothing really happens. Right here, we're gonna probably see a kill. And there we see Il Il is misplaying. Like, what? Why are you not chasing? Y yes, Rel has a higher uh, auto attack range, but right now is where Rel is vulnerable. Like I can't complain about the f I can't complain too much about it because of course you don't play against Red Top every day, but you should know, right? With doing that, you're just gonna give Red time to get a crash down back up, and yeah, she's probably gonna win. So and also he had Conqueror stacked, he had Conqueror stacked, so he would just beat up, beat him up. So here we get a solo kill, which has nothing to do about the fact that Red counters. Um, Ilaoi is just Ilaoi misplaying and uh, not really knowing how to play against Rel. But I'm gonna give it to him. What's a nice solo kill? Why not? Here, because Rel is not designed to play top lane, he's not able to push in the wave. And now Ilaoi is back with TP. And he's kinda stuck in lane because he's not playing TP. Um. Okay, it's, it hasn't happened yet. Later on, Ilawi is gonna make a decision that I also don't understand, but... Sure. Now, now uh, Rel is just pretty much stuck in lane because he took Ignite. He's gonna get beat up, and the moment he decides to actually back, um, he's gonna lose a, a lot of wave state. Here, Ilawi just... I don't know what that was. Tanks tower shots for some reason, but it's okay. And that is the mechanic that apparently makes Rel counter Eloi. You can connect your E to the soul. Alright, alright. And the reason is because of her resistances, which she doesn't really get to use here anyways. And the... How much was that? 76 HP heal. That she lost immediately. And here... Yeah, she gets ganked. Unlucky. I would argue... Ilawi probably would have solo killed there, but uh, we can't say for sure. Maybe not. Maybe yes. The soul was out. Uh, let's... Oh, the camera's locked on. on rail. So now we buy some items. Probably gonna be Kindle Gem. Kindle Gem Cloth Armor. And... Ilawi is gonna take one plate probably and leave. And now comes something I personally don't understand. I'm not a top lane man. So I'm only looking at the matchup and not at how to play top lane, right? But he goes for steel caps here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he goes for steel caps and I don't know why. Let's go back and look at how much money he had. Uh, how do we look at money? Was it C? Was it Y? Oh, it was it was X. Okay, so he has 150. So if he uh, instead of recalling decides to take one more wave, because it's Rel, she's not it's not gonna be two. Wait, wait, let's let's see. He's recalling over here actually. Let's see. So he could have had the option. To chill in base for like 20 seconds, 10, 20 seconds and get a Warhammer. Yeah, Warhammer is in there. So he could just go for Warhammer, but he, he goes for, for Steel Cap, plays Steel Caps. Reason unknown. He actually stays in the base for quite a bit anyway, so he could have probably just waited. Uh, and Relas Kindle German Club Armor. I think there happens one more, one for one, and then the landing phase is over for Rel. And this this one for one only happens because Ilawi doesn't know how to play the matchup. You're gonna you're gonna see in 
in a bit. It's gonna happen pretty soon, probably. So right here. What is the play? The play is probably to quickly get rid of this, of this cannon minion. And then hit the E and then start pumping. But he just does nothing. Why does he do nothing? And then he misses E. I mean, that, that happens. And Red likes those short trades. Here we have the level 6 advantage, and there we have the 1 for 1. That was actually pretty worth. I think that, that one was, was played pretty decently. Still something that can be easily avoided by the Lowy, but uh, it's a solo kill. I'll give it that. I'll give him that. It was a one for one. At the end of the day, and I'm gonna tell you, if Ilawi went for Kindle Gem or Warhammer, with Warhammer he would have probably won the trades because of cooldown reduction 80, and with Kindle Gem he would have probably survived the whole thing. Ninja Tab or, or play the Steel Caps, not Ninja Tab anymore. Play Steel Caps give no value. Against Rel. Like, you're literally taking the, the item that reduces incoming damage from attacks against the champion that does, that does an auto attack. That does one auto attack and then okay, he runs away. He goes in, does one auto attack, runs away. Goes in and it just repeats. So, interesting. Interesting. But the, the matchup is not over, right? So let's keep going. Now we have um now we have Kindle Gem Kindle Gem Ninja Tabi versus Kindle Gem Ruby Crystal and Cloth Armor. Both are not farming too well, but that's gonna change from now on. But yeah, a lot of farm being missed. It is gold elo after all. Now we can easily suck the soul. Why are you not sucking the soul? I guess that's okay. Just happens. Wing random minions for some reason. Here I'm gonna have to ask <laughs> the guys to know how Ilau works. So this Ilau player in this situation only attacks the ghost. Which I don't know if that's the correct play. Maybe it is. Uh, I would just attack the real red right here because you have literally have the choice who to attack. But he, he, like, as you can see here, decides to go for the ghost. I I don't know if that's the correct play, but... Huh? You lost the trade? I mean, he low ulted, to be fair. But he did lose the trade. You play around the tower. That's how you play real top, by the way. You just play around the tower. Oh, but you still lose the trade? Why does, why does Eloi not beat you up here? Probably because of the minions. Topping is, no, is a weird roll. So he lost the trade, even though tower tanked, uh, uh, even though she tanked the towers, and here you you literally, even though you connected to the, even though you connected to the E, you lose <laughs> because Ilawi just <laughs> shits on Rel. That's just how it goes. And we're gonna stop looking at the game the moment Rel leaves the leaves the laning phase. So we just look at the matchup. But I'm gonna say something about what's what's going on in the later stages as well. Just a little bit, nothing really too specific. But now Rel bought um, a null magic thing, is it called? Null magic mantle? Ma mantle? Is mantle an English word? Wait, what? Is, is the game... It is an English. What the f... Is, is mantle actually an English word? That sounds sus. So by the way, um, this is a game he won, probably has something to do with what's going on here. Uh, this Ari is gonna get a random quadra kill. Yep. We're gonna look at the game he... Oh, oh I, I went back. 50 seconds. Uh, on accident. Oh wait, we're not looking at Lowe, we're looking at, looking at Rel. And afterwards we're gonna look at the game where he lost. Both against Ilawi top, by the way. 
So as I said, just to be clear, I don't think Rel Top is terrible. I'm gonna trade real quick. Ilaw misses E on an unmounted Rel. Clear misplay. Why doesn't Ilaw fight? Look, look, look. Why don't why doesn't Ilaw use her auto attacks? But it doesn't matter. <laughs> You're getting shit on anyways. But this Ilaw is not playing good. She's actually playing terribly bad. Now you go for the all in. Ilaw just presses E and ult. And now just stick on him. Just stick on him. He has all co off cooldown, everything off cooldown. I mean, you die anyways, but Ilawi misplayed at least three times in this fight. But yeah, that's, that's just how it is. Another thing that makes Rel really terribly, terrible against Ilawi, the attack speed doesn't allow you to clear uh, the tentacles at all. You can go for um, auto attack mount up to insta clear them, but then you wasted your mount up, which is not good. So, I think. I think uh, Rel is going for Radiant this game. By the way, for those who maybe know a bit more about Rel Top than me, don't you need Barmies to at least have some kind of push power up there? I would I would assume that uh, you need Barmies. It's kind of like a Shen situation, right? Like Shen is an awesome top laner, can help his team very well, but the only thing he's lacking is Wave Clear. And isn't Rel like in the same boat? So now we allow it completed her first item. Gonna walk back to land, let's speed it up. I'm spectating Lowy again, but yeah, it's more about Rel to be honest, but it's also about it's about both, it's about both. Now we're back in lane. So one thing this Lowy is definitely misplaying is if you're watching this by the way. Metal Upa, you know who you are. Uh, if this Ilawi didn't oh, didn't give you time to get your cooldowns back and just went in after you use your W, you would have you would have had a way harder time this laning phase. So this Ilawi is not playing ideally. And one thing you told me is that you can poke down the enemies with Q before going in. You're not really doing this in this lane. Um, oh, it, it's actually, it was specific against Ilawi, actually. Huh? That's strange. I thought, I thought Rel counters Ilawi. How did that happen? Huh. It must have been lagging. Must have, must have been lagging. Yeah, yeah, I, I think you, I think you lagged there. That's weird. <laughs> so I'm under the impression that Rel Top doesn't counter anybody. Like that's that's my impression, but she's not supposed to. One thing I can also agree on with this guy, he says it's team reliant, which yeah, of course it is. You're not playing Rel Top to solo carry. But if you're under that impression, don't make statements like Ilawi, uh, Rel counters Ilawi. That's, that's just wrong then. Even if Rel does good against Ilawi, she doesn't counter her. Counter is a strong word. So I think landing phase is over now. As far as I know, and then he just starts roaming. His team is fat as, as hell, so he wins the game. Um, one thing, just to... Uh, <laughs> just because I'm a bit, I feel a bit evil today is... Uh, he goes chains later on. Which is... Why? Let's actually see who he used it on. Uh, can you see that? Usually they have like the buff, right? Who did he put it on? Probably Vigar, right? No, not Vigar. Viego? No? Don't tell me you put it on Ilawi. Ilawi has nothing. How do you see who he put his chains on? Did he put his chains on anybody? That's usually like an effect, right? Did he not? Wait, let's go. Let's go to the end of the game. Oh wait, I need I need the enemies alive though. Well, now now everybody's alive. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Did he use chains? 
Not on Vega, who only has 11 Dark Harvest decks, by the way, so... I wonder how they won the game. They should have the buff right here, right? Or the, or the debuff in that case. Bro bought chains and used it... It's actually on cooldown, though. It's, it's on cooldown. It's on cooldown, actually. So he used it. Or is it on cooldown? Let's see. Maybe he reuses it right here. Okay, he just used it. He just used it. But on who? On... on I'll just say on the... It doesn't matter on who he used it on, okay? It, it literally doesn't matter. Because, look at NVT. When do you buy chains? You usually only buy chains. Chains. And really only. If they have a solo AP mid lane who is doing good. That's the only reason to buy chains. But with this damage split, the enemies are having 80 AP, 80 AP, 80. What is chains gonna do for you? They don't. They, they not, don't even have like one particular fat carry, who looks like he's gonna solo carry, apart from Ilawi. But chains is not gonna do shit against Ilawi. So they have a five kill Silas, seven kills Yasuo, five kills Vega, and seven kills Diego support for some reason. Why are you buying chains? Stoneplate would have probably been better. So yeah, they they go on win the game because the same team is literally look at look at the stats. 12 kills, 12 kills, 15 kills. He pretty much gets carried by his team. Um, but as you could see, laning phase. <laughs> did well counter Ilawi. <laughs> like, <laughs> when a Kale manages to kill a, a Renekton in lane, she doesn't automatically counter him. That's, that's not how it works. Like, <laughs> no. But anyways, let's go to the second game. Alright, we're in game two. Ilawi even leashed. Well, as the presence in lane. Uh, other top laners can use that to absolutely dominate the lane. But as far as I remember, that doesn't happen this game. This game he lost. So it might just be a bad game, but it shouldn't it shouldn't have any impact on uh, how the matchup goes, right? So we played same way the last game with the Scorch Grasp uh, traits. When he goes for Crash Down, he even has Shield Bash to enhance that even more. So we have a level 2 trait. Ilawi plays it well. Uh, Ilawi plays it well. I'm al I've already lost my mind, guys. Ilawi plays it well. She seems to know Rel is not that bad early on. And this Ilawi, at one point, she starts, starts playing actually well. By the way, this trait, right here, this is one big mistake. If Ilawi takes the fight here, she wins. She wins the lane in this instant. You know why? She has Conqueror stacked. She has Conqueror stacked. Rel goes in. Already lost her shield. T tentacles are wild in. But for some reason we don't understand. Rel doesn't chase. Uh, Eloy doesn't chase here. here. It, it doesn't matter. Rel is slow. So you just give. Uh, you just you just give her like two, three more auto attacks. For free. Her mount up is not going to come up anytime soon. So Eloy stacked your Conqueror on the soul. And then Rel makes the big mistake to go in into a Conqueror stack Ilawi. And luckily for you in that case, the the Ilawi doesn't does isn't aware, I guess. It, it is gold, so maybe he wasn't aware that this Conqueror was stacked. And he was gonna gonna completely outheal you. Nice dealing with the gank there. Just mount up, flip him behind you. Lily has no CC. Just get out. And now the lane, um, it's probably pretty bad <laughs> to play this lane right now. You can't do anything. You just give Ilo the free heal. By the way, if I didn't mention it last game, he, after after leaving the laning phase, you, you can probably see it in, in the game. I think when Ilo reached 100 farm, the rail wasn't even at 50. Which is fine, but the fact that you're supposed to counter the champion. It's a bit questionable that she's able to farm so good. Here you completely lose the trade, even though you connected your E uh, with the ghost, got the healing Q, even got the stun. It doesn't matter. Elawi absolutely, absolutely stomps you. But for some reason, you think <laughs> Rel counters Elawi. 
In this game, as far as I remember, there are not even any solo kills. The low plays it really well. Really predictable for her. You have to flash. And yeah, every every crash down you make is pretty much a hit E for Eloi. So yeah, these trades suck for you. Now you are forced to recall. Eloi is gonna get the wave in. You do FTP this game and not ignite, so that's good. Let's look at what you're getting. You even you started, bro. You started with Ruby Crystal. Fair enough, bro. The, the W shield does scale with HP, uh, uh, after all, so I guess that's good. I don't know, as I said, I, I don't play real top. So now, Elau is also TPing back to lane. She doesn't even have to. Elau could have just preserved her TP right there. She's not gonna lose any minions. It's real top, after all. She's not gonna magically push the wave in into a tower. Anyway, so keep going for the trades. Crash downs means a free hit. Uh, here, this low player also takes a ghost over the real Lowy. As I said before, I don't know if that's a mistake. It feels like a mistake to me, but I don't know. But yeah, it 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 feels wrong. It feels bad. And if I'm if I'm correct, then the trades, the trades you see here would have been even worse for Rel. Even worse. But this time Eloi goes for the trades. She has a Conqueror right now. She has a Conqueror. And unfortunately stops trading exactly when he when he when she gets a Conqueror. So I assume that gold players, or at least this these two gold players, just don't really know or don't pay attention to Conqueror. We have another trade. A pretty even one this time. But it was a short one. And you just pretty much hate your life, you can't walk up. If you had Ignite right here, you might be able to kill, but you chose TP this time. And honestly... If I was any low, uh, uh, any any other top laner, any other non-tank top laner, that Ilaoi is in kill range. She is. She is. Even Rel might have her... No, no, Rel doesn't have her in kill range. Not really. Okay, yep, yeah. that was pretty good from you. Dodging the E, going for the crash down after E is out. It's not gonna happen too often, because why would Ilawi ever E before you crash down? But, yeah, that was pretty decent, got the flash. I'm actually quite surprised that Ilawi, Ilawi no knew that if the crash down hits, she's in big trouble. Yeah, Elo is just gonna take a base, because you're real top lane, you're not gonna get a freeze, you're not gonna get the wave into tower. So that sucks. Might have needed barmies for that. And we can already see 40... Oh, it's actually this game probably with the farm difference. Never mind, never mind the last comment I did. Or the, the other comment I did. So we're 30 to 40 farm. I'm being generous. So Ilau is already having a field day this game. Kinda weird that you counter her, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, we're back in lane. And right here, right here. You have no flash. Any Ilawi who knows at least something about Rel would probably e old you immediately. Immediately. Let's look at you. Your crash down is up in... Three more seconds? Is that actually factual? Correct? No, 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 the three is down there. It was it was seven seconds. So right here, if you low ults, you lose ha uh, more than half of the HP you, you got there. Now you're gonna mount up, and I think she ults right here. Yep. After the soul is gone, and after you already mounted back up, it's a huge misplay on Ilawi's part. Huge, huge misplay on Ilawi's part. And I think this whole situation results, if I remember correctly, in Fiddlestick skanking and Ilawi dying. Which has nothing to do with you countering her. By the way. So you go in here. You would have for sure lost the trade. 
and even with the help of uh, with the help of fiddlesticks, you almost die there. That W she was in would have brought you to one auto attack range. So even with fiddlesticks, you almost die. But of course, ganks are part of the game, so that was pretty good. Well done. Now you need fiddlesticks to help you push. Well, doesn't have the best push, so yeah, completely reasonable. Both recalling and speed it up a bit. And I think this is just a short. No, you wanted to roam, but then you decided to go back bot top. So we're back at top lane. Let's look at the items. Ilawi only has a Kindle gem. Why? How much money does she have? Wait, what? <laughs> Plated steel caps! Why? This time you're even up against the AP jungler. Is it the fear? Is it the fiddlesticks fear? Uh, uh, no, my, no, 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 wait, it's not even, it's, it's not even the tenacity boots. It is bladed steel caps. It makes no sense at all. Go Ionians, go anything. But not plated steel caps against Fiddlesticks Ilawi. Uh, in the Fiddlesticks Rel, I'm losing my mind. I'm literally losing my mind. You crash down in, you get absolutely obliterated by her E. She even manages to dodge your Q, to dodge your Q. But you keep trading, she's got just W the minion! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry guys. Sorry guys. <laughs> but what is going on? Gold is crazy, dude. Gold is crazy. Does the Lowy have ulti right here? She has ulti. Is she gonna ult? Why doesn't she ult? If she ults, you have to at least flash out immediately! I guess she needs her ult for the ne next fiddle six gank. I guess I guess she needs that. And now she's gonna ult. Oh, right? Right? Yeah, you're mounted up and she ults. So this Ilawi. This Ilawi is destroying you in lane. 30 farm up. She's destroying you in game. Uh, in lane. And is misplaying every trade while still hard winning lane. 30 CS up. She's arguably in an item disadvantage. You both have Kindle Gem, but her plated steel clips are useless, so your three components might even do more. You don't even have boots. You crashed on in, she has ulti, she hits E on you. If she ults, you have to flash out immediately, and if you do that, you still get chunked way too much to play the to keep playing the lane. And this Ilawi is misplaying a lot. Misplaying a lot. Now you're stuck on a turret. She's gonna collect a free a free wave. She misses that one. That one happens. I, I see myself missing that one as well. She gets a free free plating. Now she walks down for some reason. It speed it up a bit. I don't think she's gonna wander around a bit. Back to laning phase. Your Q that supposedly is uh, supposed to poke her down. Uh, did absolutely nothing. Zero, nada, nothing. And keep in mind, everything of this is happening while well, she has a useless plated steel caps and a kindle jump. No damage item. Nothing. Anyways, let's keep watching the lane. So you are stuck on a turret. Because you can't play the game. You even... No, you don't recall. But... It's not it's not like you can do a lot. You have to farm with your Q ability. I thought you were just gonna go for poke with your Q. Why do you have to farm with your Q? Is the matchup that good that you can just farm with Q? Because you don't even need to poke her down. Right here. E hit. You... That's what I don't understand. In which world... In which world? Is Ilawi hitting E an indicator for you to go in? In in your in your brain, does the fact that you can use the E on her soul really justify you going in when she hits when she hits her E like that? 
Let's see how the trade goes. So she attacks the ghost again. She gets a double hit. And you absolutely lose the trade. I'm pretty sure she has, she has more HP. At the, let's actually... Let's actually... Let's see. Let's see. So she lost like 100, 100 HP. You lost your entire shield plus... Well, I didn't pay attention to your... So you go in with... 700 HP. 700 HP flat. And you go out with 400. So you lost your entire shield plus 300 HP. Well, she probably lost like 100. Yes, good trading. Very good, very good trading. Oh yeah. There's the poke Q, which did like 20 damage. Let's go. You go for crash down. She dodges it. She gets a free E. You connect, do the connect thing again. You even manage to make her tank the tower and you flash for some reason. She flashes too. I guess the fact that you can drag her under the tower is countering her. It's not like you can do that with every champion. Then you go up, you sweep. Good old sweep. I probably checked if she was in the tower in the in the brush up there actually. It was a nice sweep. I'm I'm a bit too passionate to be honest. I'm gonna admit it, I'm a bit too passionate about this game. I'm just, I'm not about this game. I'm too passionate about showing you what the hell you're doing. I mean, now you're just gonna get killed. This that has nothing to do with with anything. I think, I think apart from something that completely one shots Lilia, every everyone is gonna die there. Allow the piece back to lane. I think she has her black cleaver now. Let's look at the farm. She does have her black cleaver, but we are at 95 to 60 farm. Seems like you didn't counter her good enough. Oh yeah. With Phil 6 coming up. The death timer is... Dude, playing top lane and dying. What is that death timer? You're literally dead, dead for hours. So now you get another Phil 6 gank, I think. I'm pretty sure if she doesn't tank the tower shot there, she might kill one of you two. If, maybe even both. Nicely done by Philistics. Probably wasn't on purpose, but... So Eloy misplayed this. She walked way too close to the tower. She saw Philistics when he ulted right here. The moment he, she sees Philistics right here, she has to immediately ult to um, potentially buffer it into her sphere. So, misplaced by Elowi, I think uh, experienced Elowi player wins that. And I'm just saying this because he's telling me that he played against good Elowis. Number one, you're in gold. There are no good Elowis. I hate all of that, I hate all of that, oh, you low elo so you're bad talk. But you're... In this case, I have to at least bring it up, you know? I have to I have to at least mention this is a gold game. And yeah, landing phase appears to be over. If I remember this correctly, I get absolutely dunked on here because I'm because I'm biased against this guy. A bit a bit biased, okay? I, I don't hate him, but let's just let's just uh, watch them get absolutely smonked because it's fun. Here he goes in for God knows what reason. And he gets clean up. Alright. I'm not gonna keep going. I think... I think I showed... That... You lost lane. You lost the matchup twice. Against two Elowis who made a shit ton of misplays. Who didn't know what Conqueror means. Who just pick it because OP.GG says it to them. Who don't know when to ult. 
who don't know how to trade against Rel. And you still lost the lane. And this video is completely out of spite. Because I was arguing with this guy for three days now. Or I am still arguing, kind of. Not really. It went that far that I'm that I'm watching his VODs right now. Rel top lane, I don't play it. I played it like twice, three times maybe. I'm not experienced. But even I know this matchup is horrible. Elaw is literally designed to completely destroy champions that go into her. All Rel does is go into people. You could literally... To explain what Ilawi does best, there could they could literally write down Ilawi counters champions like Rel who dive on top of her. It literally could it literally could say that. And it would be completely true. And if any of you guys who does play a lot of Rel top still think that Rel counters her, please let me know in the comments why, how. I hope this video was at least uh, a bit entertaining. <laughs> it's of, of course it, it's like it's like low-key educational, but not really educational. But it's it's more like a fun uh, look at this guy. He gave you permission. I also said that I I might make a bit of um, I might say some things that I consider a bit rude or make a bit of fun uh, about what he's doing or what he's saying. He has no problem with it, and yeah, just saying, he seems to be a cool dude, but <sighs> Rel counters Ilawi, I guess, guys, it is, it is what it is. See you all in the next one.